What's up, y'all? Welcome to He Said. Oh my God. She Said. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wait. Mm -hmm. We have something special for you to for tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna choose. Well, we're just gonna do what we always do when we're chilling at the house. We be having fun. Today, uh, we're gonna be playing karaoke. Right. She said she's gonna have my bag. I'm gonna remix this so terrible that I, got the I know I'm gonna have a million of bad comments. <laughs> By the way, I know I cannot sing, but hey, <laughs> my liquid courage right here, people. Oh my god, I can't have liquid courage, so. Mm -mm. No liquid courage for you. Yeah, I know. What topics do we miss so far? Did we miss? Yeah, we had a few topics. Fake friends. Fake friends. Fake friends and... The meaning of fake friend. Let me ask Google if Google knows. Okay, Google. Definition of fake friend. According to vocabulary.com, a person who falsely claims to be real or do something can be said to be fake. When your friend acts sweet but spreads rumors about you behind your back, you can call her a fake. As a verb, fake means to take an action with the intent to deceive. Do you guys know any of those kind of people? Yes. The kind of knows. people. They act sweet to your face and talk behind And then behind your back, they talk crap behind your back. I mean, I know people at my job that does stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I hate to accuse people, but I think I know people I know that does the same thing. They're completely one way with someone and completely different when they're not there. Or they say, they're like, they say all this stuff, what they're gonna do the next time they see that person. But when they see them, they're like, oh, hello. Hi, yes. How yeah. you doing? Am I a fake friend? Bump that. Are you fake? Am I a fake friend? Because I talk about people all the time. Gee. Well, I guess it's different for... Uh, yeah, I'm not a fake friend. You fake, huh? No, I was just asking you. No, I'm not a fake I'm friend. not fake at all. I'm not a fake friend. I, matter of fact, I have a problem with not being gentle enough. Not being gentle enough. As they enough. say, I'm too real. See, there's a difference, though. Because you have rude... And then you have... You can be rude and fake. I said I'm real. You're real and... I'm real. Okay. I keep it 100. You do. I keep it 100. But I was wondering like, if I do because <coughs> there is like people that I do talk about. But it's like different reasons, you know. My like business. So I can't really handle things like that anyway. So Yeah. But fake friends, no, I don't have any fake friends because I don't have friends. <laughs> so, mm. I'm always in the clear. Yeah. Well, you're my friend. I'm your friend. I'm you're your my best, best friend. friend. Yeah, you're my best friend. Um, who else I can just say it? My mom. But other my than mom that, is say, my best friend, but I do have best friends that are not here. Um, like my best friend, I can say my best friend, Johnny, mm -hmm. he'll forever be my best friend. Even if I don't talk nowhere. to him, he's like my brother. Uh -huh. Every time I go home to California, Gardena, uh, Gardena, Gardena, yeah, he's always there 98% of the time. Yeah. The other 2%, he's busy. That's still good though. I don't have. Mm -mm. I I guess I think my tolerance level is for friends is very 
Like, it's like you kind of messed up one time. You know, I'm like. But he's a friend that's, that's become my brother, though. Y'all grew up together. So, yeah, it's like, there's not a lot of things he can do to unfriend our friendship. Mm-hmm. Because we grew up together. So you'll always just kind of get over it. Yeah. And still be close. Mm -hmm. That's a friendship right there. That's a friendship. Me? I cut you out. Now, I friends know. are different. <clears throat> that was my best friend. Now, for friends, I have a few. I have a couple of friends. Mm -hmm. I can list them all on this hand right here, my friends. The people that will be there for you. No. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. To me, that's a best friend. A friend is someone that may be there for you. Okay, so I need to take that back. I do have friends, but like, like okay, my relationship with Christy. I would say she is a friend, but I don't look at her life as a friend. I look at her as family. Okay. So it, it, yeah. So I guess that's my thing. I may, I say I don't have friends. I do have friends. It's just they're not in a friend category. They're in family. Like got my back. Like. Well, that friend in my family category is my best friend. Yeah. 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 So I do have. Um, he and my best friend. Like it don't matter. What. I do he, have best friends. He, 98% of the time, like I said, has my back. That will be there for me. Yeah. Um, If I was to be like... And it's like, because he's not blood, it's not like mandatory for him to have my back. Exactly. Or, but he acts like he blood. Yeah. Yeah. That's th that's what I have. I have, a, I have a, a lot of people like that. But See, like my cousins... It's yeah. almost mandatory for me to have they back. Because you're their cousin. Because I'm their cousin. Yeah, but if you're not, yeah. then it's kind of like, hey. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I take that back. I do have friends. Um, it's just they're not in a friend category. They're in a um, family. Um, I say, yeah, they're like family. I don't look at them like... It's like we're really close, you know, so, yeah. Hmm. But, back to the question, how do you deal with fake friends? Good one. I don't deal with them. I don't deal with them. Most people who have fake friends don't even realize they have fake friends because the ones that have fake friends are the ones that want people to agree with them. I know a fake friend <clears throat> within the first few minutes. I don't deal with them. I don't talk to them. They're not my friend. I won't friend them. As soon as I get the first hint of anything, I unfriend you like on Facebook. You unfriended. Right. I'm and they're like, this is not Facebook. You're unfriended. So I do them. Okay, You're so unfriended. let's say it's a situation like um, not so much as a fake friend, but you have a friend <clears throat> who like don't. I mean, I'm not saying checking you or whatever, but let's say you have a friend, you, not you, but let's just pick someone having a friend, and their friend agrees with everything they do, Ooh. even when it's wrong. And I and I just got the answer to that right now. What I was thinking is you got good friends, mm -hmm. and you got bad friends. And what if you are a bad friend? I don't know. Because if you're a bad friend and you yourself is not doing so hot, <clears throat> then you two should not be hanging out so tight. You need a good friend in the middle or a good friend in there to help. It's Balance like this. You. It's like this. You know how right here on your shoulders you got the red guy and, mm -hmm. and yeah, angel. the angel, right? Now, you got one friend is the red person, one friend is the angel, but if you, you didn't dismiss your angel friend because they always putting you in check, right? Don't agree with what you say. Yeah, they don't agree with shit you oh, say you because they always trying to keep you in line. Mm -hmm. So you got your little 
attitude or whatever and you're like, you know what, I'm not dealing with you because you always got something to say about me. And now all you guys is little red guy that thinks the same way that you do and both of you are going to get led down the wrong path. Period. Yep. A, a train wreck. A train wreck. That's exactly what it is. So that's what, that's that, that was my thing as far as fake friends. I guess it, I meant to say bad friends. When you have bad friends who agree with everything you do, even when it is not right. Or if they see you doing something wrong, they don't say nothing. Because they don't think it's wrong. Because they be thinking about doing the same thing. And then y'all two get together and it just... Exactly. So, that person is always trying to put you in check. You know what? You need to listen to them. Because they have nothing but the right intentions for you. For you, you know. Because your bad friend don't. When your stuff messed up, they're going on about their business, and yeah, yep. that's how it, that's how it is. So you better check and ask yourself who's a good friend and who's a bad friend. Right. I mean, if you got a bad friend, then it's your job to try to get that bad friend on check and check. You know. Like, like, I know me. I don't need a bad friend helping me get me in trouble. Mm -hmm. You know, so I have to have the good friend. Bad friend, like, hey, let's do this. The good friend is like, dude, that's stupid. Mm -hmm. And thus, I'm like, okay, yo, bad friend, I skip. Or no, that's stupid. I don't know. Some people just don't get it. Some people just don't get it. Some people like the life that they live, like that. So, mm -hmm. some people are some people are comfortable there, and they probably won't change or ever change. So they won't ever change. It's a situation like that. But and then that brings me to people who cut off the wrong people. People who cut off the wrong people, like. They're quick to cut off somebody that care about them because of something they said, but let it be someone who agree with them and does them wrong so many times over and over again, and they never cut them off. I don't even... Okay. I, I can't comprehend it because I don't do it. I mean, I don't do it either, but I'm just saying... I don't even I know people. It. I know people who a good friend could say something to them. They cut them off. I don't want to be that friend no more. But then you have this other friend who you can tell she's not a good mom. She could do better in certain areas. She clowned you more than however many times, but yet you still won't cut her off. Right. You're never going to understand it. I, I probably won't ever understand that. You'll yeah. never understand it. Yeah. Because it's stupid. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Hello, you guys. How yeah. are you? Yeah. It's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a little treat for you guys. It's so hard to say goodbye. <laughs> you guys ready? I got some music for you guys. Can you hear it? Uh oh. Oh yeah, you ready? Come on. How do I have to say goodbye to what we had? The good times that made us laugh. Look this way. How do I 
I say goodbye to what we had. The good times that made us laugh outweigh the bad. I thought we'd get. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Now I don't know where this road is going to lead. All I know. And what we've been through And if we get to see tomorrow I won't be smart all of the way It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday She can sing, right? <laughs> but she won't sing. Uh, I need a song I know. What song is it? Alright, I'm gonna pause. Mm -hmm.